Right, so if Kazuya does 1-1-2 one, one, and I block it, he'll be minus 17. That means I could do any move under 17 frames. Bob has a 15 frame Punisher. So what does the, all of that mean? Um, I'm here to teach you about frames. Uh, I know when you lot will see numbers like this, I know you're probably gonna panic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach you a lot about frames. So when you first start off, you're both zero, right? So when you're both zero, you're able to move, move forward. But if he moves forward, he's gonna get hit. If he sidewalks, he's gonna get hit. But if you stand back and block back, you're both zero. Now, the best way to think of it is, if I throw out my arm and I do a jab and you block, I'm safe but if I do a move maybe like I've done a hook and I'm minus 10 that means you can do a move that is 10 frames so the speed of 10 frames is what can react to a move that is minus 10 same with a minus 12 move if a move is minus 12 you can't punish it with a 15 frame punish move you would have to punish it with a 12 frame move so as you can see here you can see it says command Hit level, hit level is where it, where it hits. If it's high, it's H. M is uh, medium, L is low. Um, the hit, uh, the damage is the damage output it does. The start frame is how, how many frames it is. So you see a lot of 10 frames, and then you see 12, 14, 12. Um, that's the speed of the move. Uh, block frame, so it's how much, how much he's, uh, how much he's at advantage or disadvantage. So the first move is one, he's plus one. So that means the next time you jab, it's going to be nine frames because he's plus one. He has an advantage. Um, when he does one, one, two, as you can see, it says minus 17. So that means you can punish anything that's 17 frames or below. But if you punish him with a 17 frame move, then it has to be straight after he's done the move. It can't be any layer because if you do any layer, then you're going to miss the you're going to miss the timing. So um, K and D means knockdown in terms of uh, hit frame. Can hit frame knock down again. So yeah, that's what it pretty much means. So I'm now gonna show you better than I can tell you. So we're gonna set Kazuya to do one one two. And I'm gonna show I'm gonna show the timing so you can see it. And I'm gonna show hit parity as well. Uh hit property, sorry, display. Okay. So we're gonna get Kazuya to do repeat action. This is going to be beneficial for all the future guides that I'm going to do for you guys. Uh, the longer guys, um, the ones that are not basic, the long ones, that are going to sh teach you about frames. So please listen carefully about this. If there's anything that you don't understand in this video, please uh, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. So we're going to do 1-1-2. One, one, I'm going to try and block. Couldn't block. Yeah, so that's done. I'm holding back so that's block. Alright, so recovery animation. So I've done the wrong one. Um, so now I'm just gonna show you the timing. Look at that. Look, he's still blue. See the recovery time? That's 12 frame punish. See that goes to show that the hot kick is later than 17 frames. I couldn't do it. So anything beneath 12, anything between beneath 17 frames will work. So we're gonna show you another move. So he has, let's record, he has down forward two, which is 12 frames, right? So we're gonna do down forward two. I'm gonna try and block, yeah? So I'm just gonna show you how this all works. So it's, more, it's a lot more clearer for you guys. So here we go. I can't do 15 frame punish. He recovers too fast, but I can do a 12 frame punish, but it has to be frame specific. I can't do it late, look, I've done it late then. Don't worry as well, like, the timing is not, it's not strict. There we go, punish. You know, i done that one quite late, but... There we go. Now, if he does it against the wall, he gets boosted back into combo 
So that's the best way how to look at it. So those are the numbers. So when you see um, frame data, I'm gonna link you to frame data websites for Tekken 7. So if any of you lot are struggling, it's gonna become a lot more easier now. There is uh, two websites. There's a, there's a website and then there's an app. There's T7 Chicken, which is an app on Android. And uh, shout outs to Nick. Uh, I heard that he said that the iOS version is coming out real soon. So don't worry about that. If you can't have it now, then go to rbnorway.org uh, the lovely people over there they have a frame data on all the moves and stuff like that if you looking to take it to the next level uh, frame data is pretty much the next level step in terms of taking it to pro if you want to learn how to become on that next level so yeah you're definitely going to want to have a look at those things if you want to take it to the next level if you want to keep it uh, basic then just look out for the basic guys the basic guys will help you out um, after the basic guys it's going to be straight um pro like pro information it's going to be for the people that want to take it that extra step so other than that this video was just pretty much quick video to talk about frames and how it works and stuff like that um yeah that's it man all right take it easy guys peace